Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias a todos. We are coming to you from our kitchen, and we're making a little special treat today. Juan Carlos, what are we making? We are making one of my favorite breakfasts ever mm -hmm. with a special twist. It is a special mm -hmm. twist. And we found online in Instagram Chef Lorena Garcia's recipe for French, French toast. toast. And we are going to try it with a little more things that we, that we like that she didn't add to her recipe. But still, yeah. I mean, hers looks amazing. We've tried those um, um, French toast at her restaurant, Chica Las Vegas, and it's just spectacular. Spectacular. Yeah, so yeah. We're going to try it. So shout out to Chef Lorena if she's looking. Muchas yes. gracias, Chef. Muchas gracias, Chef Lorena. So yeah, we're going to dig in here. Basically, what we'll do is quickly, let me go through the ingredients. Um, Chef Lorena's recipe, she called for three eggs. We're going to add an extra egg. Uh, we've got cinnamon. Uh, this is a little twist that we're putting on it. We like cinnamon in ours. She mm -hmm. didn't do cinnamon in hers. Uh, we're using uh, vanilla, fresh vanilla extract that we got in Mexico. Um, mixing our cinnamon and sugar, so we have that pre-mixed. Milk, you can use whatever kind, 2%, whole milk, whatever whatever you prefer. We're doing 2%. Real important, the bread, this is challah bread. Challah bread. Hala, or you can also call it egg bread, uh, if they don't call it challah where you live. But this is like the best bread to get for, is very good. for doing. Uh, really good maple syrup all the way from Canada. And we're gonna be also using aranja, a little zest of orange and some orange juice mixed into the mix. So those are our ingredients. And? Oh yeah, and the secret twist. This is cornflakes, uh, but you can apparently use whatever cereal you like. Yeah. So maybe if you want something sweeter, you can do frosted yeah, flakes. Yeah, that was fun to watch because I, I, um, I was not expecting like cereal in the... In the French toast, yeah. yeah. And that's why we have this little wooden mallet. I'm gonna let Juan Carlos get to work in just a moment, but he's gonna beat the heck out of this. Smash it. Take his frustrations out. Good, good thing to do in the morning. <laughs> so he's gonna crush that all up while I mix the rest of the ingredients together, and then we'll show you how to put it all together. Are you having fun doing that? I think my OCD is in control of me right now because I have to go like. Yeah, you're like going in a pattern. Yep. Just smash it. Do it. <laughs> All right. Putting our eggs in the bowl. Like I said, four eggs. I'm going to use a whisk. Start whisking those up. You definitely want to use a whisk because it helps get the eggs a little more fluffy. We like fluffy eggs. So give it just a little quick pre-stir. And then we're going to add in our pre-made. We did cinnamon and sugar. You can do just sugar. I like to mix the cinnamon in, and the reason is that if you try to put cinnamon in liquid without the sugar, it makes it a lot harder to mix it all together. Just a little tip. So there we go. It's about a cup, by the way. It's a lot of sugar. Get that mixed in. Nice and thick. Now we're going to add our milk, and I just eyeball the milk, and so did Chef Lorena when she made it. You just kind of do a little bit of milk. You don't need to do a ton. There. Mix that together. A little bit, probably about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. Maybe a little more. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Just gives it that little extra kick. And then we're going to do a little zest of orange. Just to give it a little bit of a... That's also in Lorena's recipe, which was interesting and yeah looks like it's gonna give a lot, uh, very good flavor and then what Lorena also recommends is that you take your orange I'm gonna do right now cut that in half and then again this is a big orange and we're gonna use some of the juice mm -hmm. it's like a little fresh 
fresh orange juice. Give it that extra little kick. And that's basically the gist of it. There's our, our mix. Looking good, and we're gonna now cut up our bread and get ready to start dipping. All right, so now we have our challah bread. We're gonna cut this, and don't be shy on the thickness of your, your bread. So we're gonna cut off the end. I'm doing about maybe three quarters of an inch thick. And a loaf of challah bread is gonna give you, you know, a good, nice six to seven decent sized slices for your French toast, which is more than enough. So now comes the dipping. I'm gonna dip our bread, the juice, um, just make sure that it is absorbing the uh, the juice, but not for too long. And then, and the, the cornflakes, make sure that is very well covered. Looks good. Do you think it's fine? Yeah, get a little on the edges too. Okay. Yeah. Better? Looks great. Looks good. Okay. First one. There we go. Well, I'm getting in on the action too. And that's the fun thing about making this French toast is that if you're married like we are, or you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a wife or husband or best friend or even children, because Chef Lorena did it with her son on Mother's Day, get everybody in on the action. It's fun. You get in here, get your hands a little dirty. Not dirty, but you know, a little crispy crunchies. And this is our last piece. Super excited. And we're gonna put this on the pan, make a little extra space over here on the side. So there you go. Now we're gonna go in the oven with it. Go ahead and have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. And you're gonna put these in the oven for about 20 minutes. They're gonna come out golden brown. Mm. We'll be right back and we'll show you the final product. All right, everybody, 20 minutes has passed. The moment of truth. We're so excited to see our special French toast. Woo! That heat comes out. My glasses Smells are on. Smells good. Wow, look at that. Looks delicious. And you guys can't smell it, but oh my goodness, the, the, the aroma coming out of the oven, you can really, really smell all of the flavors. It's awesome. So we're gonna let that cool just a little bit while we finish our cafe choreado and we're gonna heat up some of our maple syrup and but we have frozen berries that we're gonna heat up as well and we're gonna put the berries on them. So we'll see you at the breakfast table. And because our breakfast is a little special today, I wanted to make some special coffee this morning as well. So um, this is our favorite coffee from Costa Rica. We get it in La Feria del Cafe every year. Um, it's delicious, it's the uh, be very uh, um, kind we love it so yeah we'll put a link up above to our visit to the festival yeah yeah and um, I'm gonna make it the traditional Costa Rican way I put here like about two of these cups of water and um, then I add probably for two cups probably five of these um, scoops so I'm gonna turn this on I'm gonna take like around two minutes or so. Yes, to start heating up the water. And it's pretty coffee, it smells pretty good. And what is this called again, this type of coffee? The style of brewing. Ah, cafe churreal. Yes, muy yes. importante, cafe churreal. Yeah, that's how we call it in Costa Rica, churreal. And you've seen us do this a lot in our videos, especially in Costa Rica. And then we've introduced it to our family up here. Yeah, the they love it. They yeah. even love it. I already put four, right? Yeah. And this is number five. You can never do too many. Yeah. Cinco. <laughs> and it's now boiling. So we're ready. What I do here is I go in circles and I make sure that I see bubbles coming out because that's, it means that 
all the um, oils from the coffee are actually bubbling up and the water is mixing with the coffee grains and you can smell that we did it we did it That's so amazing. from our table to yours we're gonna dig in i mean hello thank you again chef lorena this yes is, chef lorena amazing. garcia by the way is just an absolutely phenomenal chef she has two great restaurants so hopefully maybe our little video will help her too and all of those other restaurant tours out there that have been struggling during this challenging time. Yeah. And uh, hopefully those restaurants will be able to reopen again soon so they can yeah. feed the masses. I cannot wait to go back there. Yes. Yeah, and uh, we'll put a link right up here. You can see our video in um, her new restaurant that opened in Miami and plus her fabulous restaurant in Las Vegas. So without further ado... Let's, let's dig in. Let's dig in. All right, so we're going to do our choreado. I'm going to have a little coffee. We like to use heavy cream in our coffee. Shout out to my sister Shannon. She turned us on to that. It's not the most healthy choice, but for whatever reason, it just makes the coffee creamier. And it's heavy cream. Yeah. <laughs> and this coffee actually is so good that you don't even really need any cream. Um, it's been ranked as one of the best coffees in the world comes from Costa Rica in an area of volcanoes called uh, Dota Terezu, which is the area that the farm is from. And the, the coffee itself is called Monte Cope. And if you can find it online, we highly recommend you uh, treat yourself if you can get it. It's very difficult to find here in the United States. They only make so much of it. More? See. Si. He likes a lot of cream. Gracias. Mm -hmm. I don't put anything else. I don't put any yeah, sugar, no sugar or anything. Just the heavy cream and that's it. That's my jam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. And we're drinking out of our Costa Rican cups. So we're feeling a little homesick. We wish we could get back to Costa Rica soon, but... We'll get back home soon. Yep. All right. Syrup. Dun, dun, dun. Syrup. Yeah. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Some berries. He loves berries. I'm not as much of a berry fan. I don't really put the berries on my... I always do. He and always also does. Also in the uh, with the pancakes. Yep. All right. I'm gonna wait for you two. We're gonna each take a bite at the same time. I have got mine ready. It's a little crispy on the outside. I like it. Get a little mm -hmm. crunch. Ready? One, two, <laughs> three. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm hmm Wow. All the flavors. What a nice treat. You know, I was curious because I've never put the zest of orange or orange juice in, whether you would taste it. Mm -hmm. And you do. You get a little bit oh, of the citrus, citrus flavor. Yeah. I like it. It just gives it that little extra kick. Yeah. This is a really cool way of doing French toast. It's a Yummy. little extra effort. Yeah, but it's worth But it. I will say, I think it's easier doing it in the oven than in the pan. Cause, yeah. Because I've discovered that every time I make it in the pan, sometimes it's really difficult to get the pan the exact temperature you really need it. And the outside will burn before the inside is cooked. And <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's a little less messy. <laughs> true. The cleanup. And it's just delicious. So. It's very delicious. So there you go, everyone. French toast with a twist from us to you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give us a huge thumbs up. Put your comments down below. And we do reply to everybody, don't we? Mm -hmm. We absolutely love reading the comments. Um, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. That's like the easiest thing to do. There's that little button right there. Big red, doesn't hurt, doesn't cost you anything. And it really helps us.
It really does. Yeah. Okay. So hit that subscribe or suscribirse in mm -hmm. Spanish button. Smash it and give us a thumbs up. Perfect. So until next time, everyone. Peace out. And remember, happiness is a lifestyle. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. <laughs>